Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Ange and I'm so glad you're here. Tonight we're going to do our regular cash stuffing with a couple of finished savings challenges to stuff. And we're also going to do some unstuffing. So let's jump right in. First we have our coin. I have a lot of coin here and what happened is when I sold my car, like back in May, I sold it pretty quickly. I sold it, as soon as I listed it, somebody responded like in three minutes and then they were at my house within an hour. I wasn't exactly prepared for that. So I took everything from the console and threw it in like a grocery bag, like a recyclable grocery bag. And I put it to the side and then um, it got moved a couple times and I just found it and I cleaned it out and all this change was in here from being in my car. So there is $5.19 here, which is a lot for me, but it's just because of that. I probably had a couple, maybe $1.75 from this week. So I did do the math ahead of time so you didn't have to sit here and listen to me. And we're gonna color in this 347, our biggest number left right now. So now our biggest number left is 346. And we're also going to color in this 172 to get it out of the way. I like getting some of the big bubbles out of the way. And then sometimes I do the little ones because I just need to feel like I got some done. So that's what we're going to do there. So our Skittle, Skittle coin challenge still has a lot of spaces to fill in. But I don't remember when I started this. I'll have to look back and see if I can figure it out by videos. But anyway, then we're going to put it in the pineapple jar. Mm, that one's a wheat back penny. I'm going to pull it up here to the side. <laughs> I like to keep those separate. Now, if JJ's coin hut was here watching, they may tell me that was good or bad. I can't say, but I've always saved them. Okay, so there's that. Next, we're gonna see how we did our spending. I will say we did spend definitely more than the last two weeks because the last two weeks we were incredibly um, non-spendy. Okay, so miscellaneous, we didn't spend. Grocery, we did. We have 15 left in grocery. Spending, we did. Okay, this dollar is disgusting, but I found it on the ground in the snow by my car. And uh, so I put it in my car my old car to dry out and then it was in that bag so i added it to this because i didn't really know where to put it if i'm being honest but so there's that eat out we did eat out we got sub sandwiches one night when i had to work really late i worked a really long day and the boys both had activities carson had basketball jake had baseball so we got sub sandwiches that's, that's what it's there for buys me a little bit of convenience okay and then kids has 10. so let's see we we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So I'm going to take today's money because I have no change. And I'm going to buy this change <laughs> because I need it. 20, 40, 60. But also, you know, that binder is about to burst. So the more I can condense it, the better. <laughs> All right, where did I put that binder? Oh, there it is. Okay. So these go in the December. I believe this is the first December deposit. And you can see how full everything is. All of this is my rollover from the whole year. Not, not ones, just anything bigger than one. So we're gonna do one more, I think, and then I'm gonna count it. Look at that thing, it is busting at the seams. I love that. I, I do wanna do something different with my rollover next year though. So if you guys have any ideas, Please share what you think you'd like to see me do with my rollover. Would you like to see me do a big challenge and have my rollover fill it in? And I'm just going to put this B-buck here. Um, it's disgusting, but those just typically typically go to the bank anyway, so I'm not going to worry about that. I didn't have any. Oh, I did have seeds. Where did I put those? Uh, my friend Lizzie over at Fizzy Lizzie sent me three C-bucks for Carson. They're in this beautiful... Slav 
folder she sent me. So I have three C's to put in Carson's envelope, the C envelope for Carson's. Let's do that. Guys, this is my binder case. I don't always bring it out, but it just makes it easy because I don't keep my binders out all the time. Um, kind of hide them away. And I do have a safe, but it's not as convenient. But if we go on a trip or anything, I do put all my binders in a safe. All right, so those C's go right in there. And I'm thinking for one of my Vlogmas videos, I'm gonna pull my A bucks and count them and get them deposited and make a principal payment on my car loan. Okay, that's the envelopes. Let's see what we're working with. So we're working with 760, except I mixed up some of it from the challenges. Okay, I didn't get enough money out of the bank, so I do have $300 prop bills here that I'm using. The reason for that is, is um, I have some money in my SoFi that needs redistributed, and also I didn't get enough cash from the bank. So I'm gonna use these, and then I'll explain as we go. So there's 300, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 80, 97, 710, 720, 730, 740, 750, and 760. So that is correct. So like Donna, the cash budgeting realtor, she'd say, boom! I love when she does that. All right, I wouldn't get very many booms. I make a lot of mistakes and that's just me. That's just real, that's just budgeting. All right, so there's that. Also, we finished um, our challenges. So I should have, let's see, 20, 30, 35, 40. Okay, so this 40 is from my Spooky Budgets challenge that I finished. I'm gonna put this back in there. I know this goes with this, but I have other spooky budgets challenges, so I want that to be the dashboard in there. So I'm gonna set that there. So that's 20, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And I have that distributed on my sheet as well, and I will tell you as I go. And then we finished a couple of the Liz and Less challenges, the most recent being this bougie. And this is a sticker. And I am still figuring out where I want to put it, but for now I'm going to put it up here and then we'll figure it out. And then this should be 260, 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, and 60. So that's a good one. Um, it's always fun to stuff finished challenges, at least it is to me. So let's get our envelopes stuffed and then we will get busy. All right, kids gets 10. I don't want to bend that, that's a pretty 10. So let's bend the one that's already bent. All right, Eat Out gets the normal 50. And boy, does it take all of it <laughs> to feed these boys. Okay, it didn't this week, but that's only because I had some loyalty points on the Jimmy, um, what's it called? Um, Jersey Mike's app. I don't even count that, that kind of stuff in my work your apps off. I probably should, huh? I just thought of that. Okay, if you guys haven't watched, I posted my work your apps off video uh, yesterday go check it out. I'm pretty impressed with my progress. I'm not a braggy girl, but I'm pretty impressed, guys. Let's go check it out. Okay, grocery gets 40, and that's not my weekly grocery bill. That's just like if I do some couponing or if I need to pick up a couple items. This week, I used it because I had to pick up a couple items, and they only had the cash-only self-register open, and I was like, done. That's fine. I'm using it, and it worked out because then you know, that's kind of what this money's for. Sometimes I forget about it and I don't forget about it. I choose to not use it because I want it to go in the rollover binder, which is maybe kind of why it's not that I, I don't know. I'm not going to babble on. Anyway, I struggle with it sometimes wanting to spend it or using it. Okay. The other thing we're going to do is we have to pull some sports money, a lot of sports money and sports got a big hit last week from the, I finished the save 2023 in 2023 for Madeline Budgets. I did take some money out of that for um, the water heater difference, but then it all went into sports and then I need to pull some Christmas money because I've definitely been Christmas shopping. And if you could see the room behind me where I have my wrapping area, you would see I've done some Christmas shopping. Okay, so we always start with our brown binder. And this case is from Amazon. I've had a few comments on it and I love it. So if you need to know the link or whatever, I can look it up in my Amazon order and give it to you. Um, I should have it. I've given it out a couple times, but I don't have it memorized. Okay, HOA was pooled. We had a bill come out. So it's getting 20 from the regular stuffing as well as 20 from the one of the um, 
savings challenges. I didn't break the savings challenges down separately. Okay, car insurance is getting 100. It is going to get one of these prop bills, but I gotta make myself a note so I remember to put it into my high yield from my bank. So it's gonna get one of these prop bills, and now car insurance has 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 470, 490, 510, 530, 550, 570, 590, 610, 630, 650. That's getting up there, isn't it? Okay. And then our next account is sports, and it got $1,413 put into it from the Save 2023 challenge. And today it's getting $110 from the regular stuffing and 25 from the savings challenges. So it's getting one of the prop bills and then it's getting $35 from, okay. So let me write that down. Now I might confuse myself. Yeah, I'm gonna do this then I'll pull it out because this way I will um, keep track. Okay. So there's 100 there. We're gonna count and then we're gonna pull some money out. And I know that's confusing, but it's just how I have to do it so I can stay on track. Oops. Okay, so we're gonna count it and then we're gonna pull some of it out. So currently we have 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1000 in the high yield savings account. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 1,000, so that's 2,000. One, two, three, 350, 20, 40, 60, 80, 450, 20, 40, 60, 80, 550, 20, 40, 60, 80, 650, 20, 40, 60, 80, 750, 770, 790, 800, 810, 813 dollars. So 2813 is what we currently have in there. And we're gonna pull about half of it. We are pulling 1410 for um, one of our first payments towards summer ball. This isn't even high school ball, which I have to start paying as well. All right, so I'm gonna try to pull the cash so I'm not just putting it in high yield and pulling it back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20, 40, 60, 80, 14. Oh, this does not feel very good, but it's just, it's what I saved for, right? And then 10. So I'm gonna count that one more time and then we're gonna recount what we have left. Okay, 14, 10 is what I'm going for, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 20, 40, 60, 80, 14, and 10. And um, I'll probably do some condensing before I deposit this back in the bank and pay the credit card. Okay, so now let's see what we have left in sports after that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 1,000 in the high yield. Let's see if I have a $1,000 placeholder, just to keep that easy. I do, I have this beautiful one from Save with Tess. So I'm gonna take that and do that. And then we have 20, 40, 60, 81. I'm gonna bring those um, hundreds back. <laughs> I know I'm doing this the hard way, but it's just what I have to do to keep track. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 81. And it might be making me feel a little bit better. All right, then there's 50, 70, 91. It's also helping me make change. Okay, so now in here we have 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, one, two, and three. 1403, so half. <laughs> Oh, that's kind of sad, but at least we can put it towards the credit card. That credit card is getting large. Okay, subs is getting $5. And now subs has 
one, 20, 40, 60, 80, two, 20, 30. And I could condense that, but I pull small amounts out of this one, so I'm not going to. But if there's any other ones I condensed before I take those big bills back, I certainly will. All right, tolls is getting five, and I do have to pay a toll bill. I got one in the mail for my new car, but I'm waiting. I put in for my plates $850 later, and I'm waiting for them to come in the mail so that I can put the new license plate in, if that makes sense. So there's tolls, I just put five in, so 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, one, two, and three, and because I know some's coming out of that, I'm not gonna condense it either. All right, and land is gonna get the normal one dollar because it's fully funded and we're just kind of making baby steps to the next year. And if you're new here, this is a plot of land that my husband and his siblings inherited when his father passed and one of the siblings takes care of it yearly for insurance and mowing, and then he charges it us at the end of the year. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I am going to condense that down to a 10, just because this won't get touched for a while. Once, if it hits 100, then I put it in the high yield. Okay, Union Dues is also getting one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna put four in and take a five. So now we have seven in there. And we did just pay that for the year. So it is all just a dollar. Mom time is getting five. And I think, um, I think I'll put 15 and then take a 20. So now we'll have 40 and we're just gonna keep building that up till we go out again. Um, Shop small is getting five, but I can tell you this is all coming out because I went crazy on Etsy this month, getting some stuff for 2024. So now I have $60 in there and I am gonna leave the fives. I do think all of it's coming out, but just in case I'm not, I don't wanna pull it out. Sorry if you can hear my son yelling. He's playing a video game with his friends and he's really loud. All right, car registration is getting 25 from the stuffing and 25 from the savings challenges, which means 50. But as you know, this is all coming out because it was $850. So I need to pull this too and I forgot. So let's see what we got to pull. 1, 2, 250, 20, 40, 60, 80, 350, 20, 40, 60, 80, 450, 20, 40, 60, 80, 550, 560, 565, 66, 67, 68, 69. So I'm pulling 569. So sad. That's okay. It's what we saved for. I did not expect it to be that much, but at least we have this much for towards credit card, and then I'll have to pull from other places for the rest of it. Okay, property taxes is getting 90 from the regular stuffing and 25 from the savings challenges. This is due in February. We have to because our mortgage is now paid off, we are responsible for our property taxes and homeowners insurance separately. And we pay, we just paid our homeowners for the annual amount. And now we have property taxes due in February. So in Colorado, you can pay either in full or two payments, one in February and one in um, July, I wanna say. So my goal is to pay the full amount. If I can't, I at least have enough for the half payment, but I'm really trying. So anyway, this one's getting 115, so it's gonna get the prop dollar. <laughs> and then $15. So I'm gonna put the 10 in and take a 20 and a five. Okay, so now property tax has 1,000, 2,000. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 in the high yield. 20, 40, 60, 80, 26. 20, 40, 60, 80, 27. That 50 is in the high yield also. So 27, 50, 27, 75 is in there. And I'm guessing that we need about $5,000. That might be high. I don't know what it's gonna be. They gave us a really high estimate and then I appealed it. And then they said I didn't win the whole appeal, but I won some of it. And then they said they were gonna do a um, county-wide discount because they had to do the assessments when we were in that housing bubble, but we're not anymore and there's no way any of these houses. So I have no idea. So in my head, I need $5,000. We'll see what it ends up. 
and what, what it actually is. All right, and then homeowner's insurance is also getting 100, so I'm gonna put a regular 100 because I'm out of the prop money. Well, I'm not out, but I don't have any more. Okay, you know. All right, so homeowner's has 100, 200, 300, 400 in the bank, the high yield, and then it has 120, 40, 60, 82, Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. 1, 2, 3, 400, 500, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 80, 780. That's pretty good considering we literally just pulled it and paid a year's worth. So we this one is $5,000. So, um, and we just paid it in no, no, October. So um, we definitely need to keep going at the rate we're going. All right, that is that binder. And then um, next one is this one. All right. Household is getting 35, and this was wiped out from the water heater, so I'm trying to build it back up. So 20, 35, and 10 of that was the regular stuffing. 25 was the savings challenge. So now it has 20, 40, 50, and 5. And... Um, yeah, we didn't have enough for the water heater, so we've been cash flowing out of savings a lot, and our savings is taking big hits lately. All right, miscellaneous is getting five. I may have to pull this for the hot water heater, but I'm not there yet. Let's see if there's a crisper five, because there's a lot of fives here. Not really. Not really at all. Okay, so now there's ten in here. And if I have to pull it, I will. I already pulled it once <laughs> for the water heater. So, all right, gifts is getting five. We have a lot of December birthdays. All right, so there's 100, 200, 250, 300, 310, 315, 320, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 325 is a pretty good amount. I'm going to keep it just how it is because we pull in increments and that. If I had to use it for Christmas, I will. I don't think I will between my work your apps off and what I've saved, but if I do, I can. But mostly that's for like birthday gifts or anniversary gifts or just whatever the gift could be. All right, vacation was getting 10 from the regular stuffing and 15 from the savings challenge. So it's getting 25. This is one that I really need to find a way to bulk up more. 20, 40, 60, 81. I'm gonna bring in a 20, 100 though. 20, 40, 60, and 5. 165. This I need to be about $10,000 for this year, but because of baseball trips, we've already had to start buying Jake's flights, um, and then we got to figure out what we're doing. He has three out-of-state trips this summer. Clothes is getting five, and this is for winter clothes or if one of the boys needs clothes because they're growing like weeds. So there's 20, 25, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, and 35. That one is not a priority, so it's nice to just see it grow, right? Entertainment is getting 10 from the regular stuffing and 60 from the savings challenge. And that's because we tend to do stuff over Christmas break and I just wanna make sure that we have the funds, if, or we try to have the funds. All right, so now there's 20, 40, 60, 80, and 90 in there. That's growing. I, I like to max it at about 500, but we'll see. All right, self-care is getting five. And so now it has 100, 200, 20, 25, 30, 35. That one is taking a hit lately. We did a savings challenge and got it up there, but we haven't been able to put much in it. So I am trying to get it back up a little bit. Cause you all know if I go for my hair, that's all gone. And then the, these boys hair grow like crazy. All right, air conditioner is getting five tonight. And I am gonna condense these ones while I have this money since I'm gonna be going to the bank. So there's 1,000, 2,000, 25, 26, 27, 2,800 in the high yield. And then five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. And those are L bucks for my dollar challenges, and L's are for AC. So 1,000, 2,000, 25, 26, 27, 28, 40 in air conditioner. 
and we thought we would have to buy it this year but it looks like we got through the summer hopefully the furnace gets through the winter and then i will just keep saving all right giving is getting five um some of this will come out of here too but i have to wait till i track last week's expenses so i know what to pull 20 40 45 50 1 2 3 4 and 5 um, I did just get another box. Um, what did I say? 50? I can't remember. 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. I did just get a big box together of more of the couponing items I had that I'm going to take to my work. I did put the share tree up for work to collect for the food bank, so I'm going to add my box to it. And then I take weekly donations to the food bank. It, I, it's one of my favorite things I get to do at work. It, I'm very excited about it. All right, PTO is getting 10. This is paid time off. When my husband misses work, he does not get paid time off. So like Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, none of those are paid. So I have this envelope and I try to put a little bit each stuffing so that if we need it to supplement his income on those weeks, we can. All right, so it has 1,000, 100, 200, 300. So 1,300 in the high yield, 20, 40, 60, 80, 91. I am going to condense these because if we're going to touch it, we're probably going to take quite a bit. And then 10, 20, and then 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we'll do that and we'll take a 10. All right, so now in here we have, oh, my T is coming off, sad. Okay, so 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, so 1,400, 20, 30, 5, 6, 7, 1, 1, 2, 3, 1,437. And if I could get this as high as I wanted, I'd probably go up to 2,000 and then consider it fully funded because um, that would be great. I'd be ecstatic. All right, driver's ed is getting one, and this is just us slowly saving towards when Carson has to do all his driver's stuff, because that proved to be even more expensive than I expected with Jake. So I'm going to put four in and take a five, so it now has six. I only put a dollar a week right now in it. Hopefully soon I'll be able to up it to like five dollars a week. Okay, holiday. This is for all holidays except for Christmas, but again, if I needed to use this or any envelope for Christmas so that I didn't go in debt, I would. Some of these are bills and some of these are stuff I know I have coming up, sinking funds or just being prepared, right? So in here we have 100, 200, 20, 30, 35, 40, 41. Did I take the five? I don't think I did. Okay, if I did, then I don't remember it. Okay, I'll check the video. 100, 200, 220, 230, 240, 246. Let me see what we had last week. That would be the best way. Yep, I hadn't because now it has 246 and it did have 241, so that's good. Look at that, I caught my mistake. Woohoo! It's a good day. All right, P.O. Box is getting five. My P.O. Box expires on the 7th, and I'm waiting for our P.O. Box to get an open box. Apparently, all their boxes are full, our post office. So um, somebody told me I'd have better luck if I went in instead of just going on the wait list online. So I'm going to do that hopefully this week. So 150, 200, 20, 40, 50, and 1. 251. And um, the reason I want to switch is because I don't have good luck getting stuff at this P.O. Box. It's in a UPS store. It has a physical street address, but I've had trouble of stuff not showing up. So, and I'm paying a lot there. All right, senior year is getting 5 from the regular stuffing and 15 from the um, savings challenges, but I want to do small amounts because I, um, there's 10 and then 20. Um, because I break it up to the senior binder envelopes and I like to have enough to break it down. So now it has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 76, and 77. So that's, that's a good amount since we just stuffed it recently. I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I am a little scared. It seems like everything is just so, I mean, everything in life is just so expensive, but also everything pertaining to senior year, even everything pertaining to sophomore year is expensive, if I'm being honest. All right. Our last binder, guys. Thanks for staying with me. I know this is a long one and I appreciate you coming along. All right. Household's getting, no, I can't talk. Car maintenance is getting 10. 
All right, so I'll just take this and this and take a 20. So there's 42 in car maintenance. Sorry guys, I like to write down what I have. One, so I know the like if I mess up, I can go back like I did. And two, if something should happen and like somebody broke into this house, I wanna know how much was there. I know it doesn't change it, it's still gone, but at least then I know. Medical is empty. So it's getting 20 from the regular stuffing and 25 from the savings challenges. So now it'll have 45. And um, I just found out Carson has to get two more teeth pulled on the bottom but they are gonna start off with the braces and put an expander in at the top. Um, all this is happening at the beginning of January. So I have to go pay for the braces or at least start paying for the braces. And then um, I have to get two more teeth pulled. So we just had four and Carson has this thing where they can't give him enough pain medicine to do more than one tooth at a time. So we've had to do four different appointments after the first one when they found it out. So I've had to pay for the laughing gas every time, the shots every time, the dental visit every time. So it's adding up really quick, but I will have my FSA or yeah, my flexible spending account back in January. So that will help. We'll just probably wipe it out real quick this year again. Okay, education got wiped out quite a bit between Carson's fundraiser at school and um, lunches, but we're adding $10 from the regular stuffing and 25 from the savings challenge. So it's getting 35. So there's 20, 30, and five. And let's just be honest, teen boys can eat. So they get extras at lunch. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46. So 146. So you can see that one already took a hit. And $50 is coming out from the fundraiser. I haven't um, done this week's um, um, expenses yet. I do track them in my binder. I'm in mean my planner. So I do all the budgeting stuff you see other people do. I just don't do all of it on camera. And I do have a reason for that. And at some point I might share that. I just can't right now. All right. House reno is getting five. So I do do like I said, do do um, paycheck breakdowns. I'll show you guys. I have a book and I go through my binder. I put all my bills in my binder. And then I go through and I put what bills I have, what we're getting paid, sinking funds, all that. And I do do all that. And then I also track my expenses in my planner each day. And then I go through usually on Mondays and pull the funds that are in there. So all the stuff that other people do on camera, and I respect that I like to watch it, I don't necessarily do on camera, but I may someday. Okay, Reno has 100 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. I'm a believer in the system and I believe in the full system. I don't necessarily believe in all of the rules of say like the Dave Ramsey system, but I believe in the cash envelope system and the budgeting system and the tracking system. And if I could give you one pointer, if you're new and you're watching this channel, welcome. And I'm so glad you're here and I have no regrets about starting this program. Get a notebook, get a piece of paper and track your expenses. Write down what bills you have, what balances you have, when bills are due, and then track your expenses for a month or two and find out where your money's going. Because I tell you what, it is enlightening how much we spend on eating out when we're not watching our budget. It is terrifying the amount of money we've wasted on eating out over the years. So if you do one thing to help yourself or you're wondering, how do I start you start by writing down all your bills, all your balances, all your payment amounts, your due dates, and then you track your spending, your all of your spending for two months, and you really see what you're spending your money on. You also see what can you get rid of, especially if you're hurting to pay your bills. You can get rid of subscriptions. We have gotten rid of so much. We got rid of um, cable. We got rid of several subscriptions. Um, we've gotten rid of a lot that we found we were just throwing money away for. Okay, I'm gonna count this again. One, two, I'm a talker today and yesterday. 300, 400, 500, 600 in the high yield. 20, 40, 50, 60, one, two, three, four, five, 665 in Reno. And um, I did have another 500 in here, but I had to pull it um, with the car insurance and all those expenses. And my husband has missed a lot of work. <clears throat> So I did have to pull it out of here because this is probably one of the lowest priorities I have. And I really want it, but like it, my floors are fine. I just want something different. So 
you got to do that in budgeting too. You got to improvise and be flexible and budgeting is very flexible. I do appreciate that about it. All right. Jake Savings is getting five. I do try to put money in their savings every chance I get. 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 232. And I eventually put it into their high yield savings account. Um, I have it lately. Carson Savings, he's getting five, so I'm gonna put, actually, I'm gonna put 15 in, because I want the change, and put 20 here. All right, so he should have the same, so he should have 150, 170, 190, 210, 220, 231, and two, and he does. All right, and then our savings is getting five. I'll put in a 10, and then six cars getting 10. All right, so five, six, seven, eight in his high yield savings account, 20, 40, 60, 80, one. 20, 40, 60, 80, okay, so try that again. Five, six, seven, eight. 800 in high yield, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 86, 87. 987, that's a lot. Right now he's driving my mom's car. All right, Carson car is getting five. And his high yield, 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 599. One of these days I'll remember to add that dollar. Hopefully the next time. All right, Roth IRA is getting, I keep writing the wrong word there. Okay, $5. And... I'm going to put 15, wait a minute, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I need to pull this. <laughs> I forgot. IRA 60. All right, because I already deposited it last week. So it's getting five and it'll have five. Okay, and then car is getting nothing but I want to see if I can convince it. So it has five, six, seven, eight hundred in the high yield. Fifty, seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So what I say? Five, six, seven, eight, eight fifty, eight seventy, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight seventy eight. Okay. Apparently they already convinced it, so all right. And then new or Christmas is getting five. And this is a ton here. And we're pulling a ton too. So let's see what we have right now. So we have one, two, three, four in the high yield. 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, nope. Four. 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 80. 780, 790, 795, minus 6. What? Oh my gosh, this is a mess. I think I was going to pull it and then I decided to wait and I just really made a mess. Okay, let me get through this. Hold on. Sorry, guys. But it definitely needs condensed. Okay, I'm going to try again. Right now, Christmas has... 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 930, 940, 950, 960, 970, 980, 990, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's $1,001. 
All right, and we are pulling 662. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't count, guys. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 601. All right, so I need to pull one of these prop bills. So now I'm gonna go minus 100 for Christmas in the prop. So I'll put that to the side. So that's 100, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, one and two. Okay, so that has to get pulled over there. I'm gonna count it again, but let's condense this. 10, 20, 10, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. So now I show on Christmas, and then we have a little bit more in Work Your Apps Off, and then I have a little bit in my Christmas side hustle too. I do have more Christmas to buy, so I'm a little nervous actually. One, two, three hundred, three twenty, three thirty, three thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Yikes. Maybe I didn't save enough. But that's okay. Okay, I just want to make sure this is six sixty-two. So one twenty ah. 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 1, and 2. Perfect. Okay. So that goes back. So I won't have to do a bill condensing video this month because of this. So there we go. All right. And deductible. Uh, is not getting oh it's getting two dollars and now it has 20 40 60 80 85 a6 a7 8 8 9 90 91 92 93 so 20 40 60 80 5 6 7 8 9 10 all right so that has 93 and then all we have to do is make sure what we pulled is what this adds up to. And then I will take it to the bank tomorrow and pay it towards the credit card because that bill is scary right now. All right, so we should have, let's see if I can do my math, 1410, I didn't write down registration. What I pull from registration? 569. Okay. So if I do my math right, we should have 2701 here, including this prop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight fifty, so that's nine fifty in big bills. Twenties, I have twenty, forty, sixty, eighty one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty three, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty four. 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 60, 88, 20, 40, 60, 89, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 40. So 1640, that puts us at 2590, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 
80, 90, 105. So this isn't right. I messed up somewhere, but let's see what we have in ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. So 11, 15, 16. So I'm $61 over. I'm sorry, I'm exactly $60 over. Did I write that right? Five, six, nine. Let me try again. Nope, I still got 27 ones. For some reason I'm $60 ahead. I mean, over. I don't know why. One of my trusty friends will tell me soon and we'll get it figured out. But for now, this is all going back to the bank. And we will see you guys in my next video, which will be a Vlogmas video. Yay! Oh my gosh, that's crazy. All right, bye.